Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. They said we would never be back. Nick, you would never guess who tried to stop me from being back this week. Who, Brett? Well, last time it was Jim, and this week it was Jack Daniels. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm currently staying at my cousin's house, who is an alcohol distributor, and there is the most amount of alcohol in this house, and he's like, yeah, just take whatever you want. I won't notice it. And, yeah, yesterday I had some exciting news. And there was a bottle of Jack Daniels there, and then it somehow disappeared completely. Oh, really? Oh, yes. And Brett, what was that exciting news? I have a fucking home! Yeah. <laughs> I am so excited, dude. Man, I yeah. Yesterday, we got the phone call. We, we rocked up to this... Um, uh, rocked up to this house in Coburg. It was a three-bedder, has this massive shed, and I was like, this is my dream home, but there was 50 people there. I was like, there's no way we're going to get this place. But I'm like, all right, positive mind, positive mind, positive mind. And um, ring the, I emailed the real estate agent the next day, smoothed him, how are you, mate? It's yeah. my dream home. Great. Got the call yesterday. And now that means Flatstick has a new filming location, Brett's yeah. fucking shared, and it's massive, it's undercover, and it's powered. Yes. I've never been happier. Mate, fuck, this is incredible. So what, how big are we talking? Man, we're talking the size of this carport we're currently in. Oh, man. The, it's massive. It's all undercover. It's a powered site. I've got an electric roller door so I can just hit the button, ride the bike straight in. I've never been happier. I don't even care about the rooms. I said to my, Josh, I said, Josh, my new roommate, I said, pick whichever room you want. I couldn't give a shit. I'm living in the shed. That's so good. Which reminds me, you can come down to Nick and Brett's custom commune yeah. today, <laughs> where you teach us how to fix our bikes. Yeah, you can, you can come over. You can use our tools yeah, can you, yeah. to fix your bike and ours. We have no idea. Brett has a full array of tools. I have three spanners. And uh, as of this morning, I had two tire levers, but I can't find them. So I think uh, I've got one one of your tire levers. Oh, I found yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it was doing in my bag, but I've got it. Um, man, I'm so excited. It's like a three-bedroom oh. house, man. I just can't get a. I'm fucking over the moon. I haven't had a chance yet. My wife, she, she, uh, I think Josh sent us some photos, and uh, said she said it was really nice. Yeah, man, wood floors. Oh. Fucking gonna put the fire pit out. So once again, <sighs> I, yeah, I could, I could not care about the house. I just only care about the shed. I'm yeah. so excited. I and, finally and have a shed. There's enough room outside for a fire pit. Yeah. Oh man, this is the dream. This is the dream. This is the dream. Guess, guess who came with me to the house inspection? Who? Muddy. Maybe that got me over the line. Oh, right. Uh, if you know from the wrong way around, uh, we did a gig in Dubbo for to our mates Muddy and Killer, and uh, he came to the home inspection. And also, before the home inspection, I had about 50 beers, so I don't know I don't know if that got me over the line or, or whatever, but fuck, it was a wild day. I actually ruined that man. <laughs> <laughs> was that the one with the big line that Josh took a photo of? Yeah. Fuck, dude. Man, That's... it's insane at the moment. Absolutely fucking insane. But I've got a house at the moment. I'm staying at my cousin's house. Unlimited mm. piss here, so I'm mm. fucking over the mm. moon. Yeah, this is great, man. It's yeah. crazy. Melbourne's crazy how you just, like, it is, like, a big metropolitan city. Yeah. But then you jump on the highway for 15 minutes, and you are in suburbia. Yeah. Like, full-on, full-on country town suburbia. Yeah. Like, yeah, this house wouldn't look out of place at Gunda Windy. No. Yeah. yeah. Mate, and you've got the best view in the town. You've got a view of Audi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's where i got these. I got these $6 Crofts. German quality. Yeah, look at these, man. Yeah, don't show me those. What? I've, What's wrong I've with lost them? complete respect for you. They're 6 bucks, <laughs> mate. I'm living like a king. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nick, you've just gotten back from Brisbane. Tell us about the trip. Has it changed your life? Are you excited? What happened? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was great. Harvey Bay. Fantastic, man. Yeah. You can't get any better than Harvey God's Bay. country, you'd say? Yeah, it is God's country. It's absolutely... Be it is... It's gone to Windy by the Beach. That's yeah, what right. I call it. You've been there, eh? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's fucking... Just so nice, country town. I uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, but then, Brett, driving... Like, we thought it was a good idea to drive up. We do it every Christmas, drive up to Queensland. But after two or three days of driving this time, we are like, you know what? We're flying next time. <laughs> Jetstar has just bought flights to. Uh, they're just doing. Started doing flights to Harvey Bay from Direct. Melbourne. Yeah, right. So yeah, we're just gonna fucking do I, that. I was gonna say like you know it really nothing tests the relationship quite like eight hours in the car together. Yeah, yeah. We used to. Yeah, we used to fight a bit on it, but now we're actually. It was actually fine. 
It was it was really good. But the only thing is, man, VW, we're getting rid of it, man. It's fucking the the seats are so shit on long distance drives. Yeah. This year, like my my left ass cheek hurts after two hours. I got to swap over. Any other car I've been able to drive forever, forever, yeah. you know. And and uh, Ben Bryan, our good mate, he mm. sometimes we take his stepdad's. Uh, Oh, his father-in-law, sorry. His father-in-law's Camry station wagon out for a drive mm. when we go out filming. And it's fucking awesome. Yeah, mate. It's like the seats are just so big yeah. and good. Man, you know? even like the, the – I still reckon the comfiest car I've ever driven, well, not suspension-wise, seat-wise, the AU Falcon. They yeah, had those big – Those big they seats. Be, yeah, they belong on a bus or some shit. They're massive. I used to just have no brakes in those. I, I drive like five or six hours straight, just – Pin in it. The only thing I uh, man, if, uh, this is like getting real nerdy, but I love the seats that have the pull down armrests. Yeah, fuck, nothing man. better on the highway. Fuck. Also, like I find the VW seats, they're all, they're all ridged and shit. No. You got to be just big and flat. Yes. I reckon. Yes. You know, the you Germans try to over engineer it, and it's gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> The Japanese, once again, have yeah. got it correct. They just go, just go flat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't always work on the dirt bike seats because the DR650 is the worst seat that's ever been invented. <laughs> and the seat I bought cost nearly as much as the fucking yeah, motorbike. They don't make they don't make comfortable seats, the Japanese. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they do. They're small people. They're small you know? people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, no, it was good. It was good, Brett. But, yeah, the, the big drive is fucking – I tried to convince um, – my wife to go to the motorbike museum in Nabiak on the way back, but no dice. No dice. It was uh, a <sighs> sad, sad state of affairs. You might have to take that ring off the finger. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Get but, a new one. But, man, um, there's some beautiful – that Northern Rivers region, I think you and I kind of rode around there, mm. could not be more beautiful. I want to move to this place like Almara. It's near Grafton. I send you a video. Really? It's a fucking big, wide river, and uh, the fish were yeah. jumping out of the water. Did you go fishing? No, no, we just stopped there on the way back just, like, for 10 minutes. I swear but, to God, comedy ruins our life. Why oh, the man. fuck are we in Melbourne? Oh, it's insane, Let's just man. move to a great it's, town and have a, a best life. I'll just fucking become a lawnmower guy or some shit. We, we pay, like, a fair bit of money a week rent, and we, were, we did the sums, and we were like, maybe we could pay a place off in Harvey Bay, like, just buy a place there, mm. and just my wife flies back to Melbourne once or twice a week. And it costs her what four hundred bucks, and we're still kind of ahead. Really? Yeah. Do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was, I was thinking. Do that I because get, then when she flies over, I can fly there. <laughs> I can get a job at like in Harvey Bay as like some kind of tour guide. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just taking dolphin tours or some shit. Well, speaking of tour guides, guess who's got a new job? Oh, yeah. Now, I had to pick up a little side hustle at the moment because uh, the tax man has come a knocking. And oh. uh, I now drive, well, I haven't officially got it, but I got my little yeah. driver test. I think I'm driving bus down to the Great Ocean Road and back. It's fucking sick. Man, that's great. Dude, man, I thought they'd have Toyota coasters. They don't. They've got like this Japanese. I don't even know what the model is. I'm going to have to do some investigation on it. But it holds like 24 people. You drive all the way to the Great Ocean Road, well, the 12 Apostles, and then you drive back. It's a 12-hour day. It's great cash. But the only thing is you have to be nice to people and not hungover. So I'm probably going to really struggle with this job. <laughs> Man, you, get, you can't drink like two nights before you go. No. <laughs> probably a week. <laughs> yeah. And it's nothing to do with, like, when you've got the CPV, commercial charter mm. vehicle, whatever, you can't have any alcohol in the system. But if I'm hungover and cranky mm. and then trying to be nice to tourists, I can't imagine it. Yeah, that's true. Fuck, man. Oh, that's great. Yeah, when you told me about that job, I've, I've heard about it before. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that sounds so good, but man, I never had the time to pursue it. Yeah, another comedian told me about it. I was actually think it's actually a, a great job for you because you've yeah. actually got a better personality for it than me. And, like, yeah. you don't get stressed out. You pick up these cunts from the city – that's the only stressful part. And then you just sit on the Great Ocean, right? Fuck. Four stops. I had fish and chips. Fucking sick. I, it was like, it was a long day. Yeah, you got to yeah. clean the bus at the end, but who gives a fuck? Yeah. But yeah, man, good money. That's long good. Day. Like, that's a good, honest job. You clean the bus. Yeah. Afterwards. Man, and there was, I mean, I'm a single man now, so I can say it, but there was some fucking hotties on the tour as well. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> clean the bus and clean up as well. <laughs> clean the bus and clean up. <laughs> Do lots of clean. Okay. 
<laughs> Man, it's just just a bus driver guy. You're like, yeah, yeah, I was with a girl and stuff. Now I'm driving a bus. Now I'm driving a bus. <laughs> like, um, oh. Yeah, man. Well, we got some exciting news, guys. Mm-hmm. We've we've got we need some advice. Um, we are locked in for the border bunch next year. Oh, for this year, sorry. We're locked in. I, ke- I keep thinking it's 2023, mate. We are locked in this year. We are going. We. I, Rumor is Kingaroy area. Yes. So Kingaroy, it's quite far for you and me, Brent. Uh, but my brother and I talked about it, and we want your advice. So we got to drive from Melbourne to Sydney, then to Kingaroy. Yep. What do Brett and I do? Do we hire a trailer? Do and uh, go to Sydney, pick up my brother's bike. We got three bikes. Drive from Sydney to Kingaroy. We need your advice. Because, well, I don't know if we can ride this time. It's fucking so wait, much wait. money and so much time. But also, like, yeah, so much time. But remember last time we rode for, like, six days and we were exhausted and then we had to go and do the other riding as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. fucking... But, hey, look, we got the shed now. we got a place to store, store a trailer. Yes, that's true. Fuck. What, 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 what would a motorbike trailer be, like, a thousand bucks? Does anyone ha- throw some fucking, you know... Some suggestions. Throw, throw some suggestions at us. Mm. Do you know a motorbike trailer? Do you know a good thing? Do we do we fucking hire a truck? Man, yeah. I'll tell, tell you what we could do. Hire one of those... Budget vans and put them in the fucking back. Yeah. Strap them in, and then we could live in the back of the van. Mate. <laughs> Solved. Oh, do you know... <laughs> It would cost us an arm and a leg, but you know what I want? What? One of those mini trucks. What are those, like, a, a Vecos? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want a fucking Aveco. Dude, I yeah, looked the, the, at the, um, one of those, yeah, one of those little mini ones um, was on sale, and it had all scaffolding around the top of it, and I was like, dude, you could fit four motorbikes in it, and if you put a tarp over there, you could fucking live in there. Yeah. Mate. I reckon that's the solution. You really need psychiatric help, Brett. Why? <laughs> Mate, when you... Yeah, when you yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you got this house. So, I am so glad you no, got I've this house. I've actually rapidly gone downhill because I'm like, man, I could probably live in my car. You know, like, I, <laughs> when you don't have a home for like... It's been four months, mu- three months, three and a half months. We've been... Uh, n- 99 stuff, we're all talking about it. We're like, we we got to look after Brett. He's out in Ringwood. He, he's he's got to sleep on the couch. We've got to make sure because otherwise he's got. They're like rumor is he's going to sleep in a pub. You're, where are you going to sleep in a pub? For yeah, a while? I was I was scheduled to <laughs> live above a pub. So if I didn't get this place, I was going to live in the next. I was paid rent for, to live above a pub for a month. Because you're just as bad as me. Like uh, I, the mo- if I was going through it, you, I'd, I'd be doing the same. I'd be romanticizing the shit out of this thing. I'd be fucking <laughs> sleeping in one of those swags. It's also a tent. Yes. In some one's yard or something like that i'd have it rolled up on the motorbike and people would be going man you can just stay in my spare room you know no, what I, mean? but I think when when like what i've done so you don't want to be an inconvenience on people yeah. you know what i mean you don't want to be in people's space i'd rather be down at the campsite yeah. you know what i mean that's like you're not pissing anyone off like my cousin's away for a week he wanted a dog sitter i'm staying here i feel like i'm helping out but when he comes back he's like oh you can stay here i'm like nah i don't want to be in your space you know yeah man this is the ultimate uh bachelor pad because like what you your cousin's divorced and uh what he's got a couple of kids and he's like yeah, yeah, they just hear every, you know, every couple of weeks. Yeah. Other than that, this the, rules. There's the, like drinks everywhere. The best. It's, oh man, it's a full dude's pad. There's yeah. like a fucking old school arcade machine. Yeah, he's yeah, got a I saw that. PlayStation and shit. But then he's got a hot tub in the bathroom, like his massive hot tub spa thing. And I was like, dude, how many times have you used that hot tub? And he goes, once when I moved in, and then I haven't touched it in three years. <laughs> But then he said, like, he goes, oh, I bought some chicks back there once and we, and I said, oh, did you go in the hot tub with the birds? He goes, yeah, we went in the hot tub, but we didn't turn it on. We just had champagne in it. I was like, what? You sat in a plastic fucking spa. Man, I need, like, have you seen my rig? I need suds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I need to be covering. Well. If I'm in a hot tub, it's the least romantic. I need bubbles holding. I need bubbles. Hiding these man boobs. Even over the face. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you've seen my cousin with his shirt off, there's a reason why he didn't need the fucking bubbles. The cunt's jacked to shit. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. He's like a, he's fucking, he, he still gets paid to play cricket. He's yeah, he's a he's a good athlete. He's a very good football player and a and a cricketer. Man, that's so. great. So, yes, back on track. Fucking border bunch suggestions. We've got to get from here to Kingaroy. Yeah, we've got to pick up my brother on the way. He's got a GS eight hundred. He can't be. F- I had to last last border bunch ride. 
when my bike broke down, I had to follow him and dad in the car from Sydney to Tamworth. It was so cold. And I was like, it's the first time I ever was happy to be driving. But oh, that was so cold. I've just looked and thought about it. If we do get this trailer, we're going to have to tow the bikes in the Ford Focus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if she's got enough grunt to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Well, we might have to work something out before then. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome, man. And I'm other, so pumped. Other exciting news, which I can't uh, say too much about yet, I'm on a, on a cool little podcast that's in uh, remote Brisbane. What was the town I said? Gladstone. In Gladstone. So I've got a uh, – if you know what the podcast is, you'll know what the, you know to do with the town. But I need a ride – from so we've got the border bunch which is going to be happening which we're excited in kingroy but i need a ride from brisbane to gladstone i've looked at hiring a bike there's not heaps of options and they're pretty expensive is there any flatty out there who lives in the brisbane the gold coast willing what? to let me borrow their bike for a six hour trip six hour trip one way and then six hours back obviously yes yes that would be good we'll talk to everybody yeah know? yeah maybe we can just maybe you can just buy can we get like a business loan or something so we just buy you some weird bike? Like, oh, I want to buy you like a, you know, um, Stewie had this weird bike, the Varadero. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. a thousand cc adventure bike, but yeah. it still looked like a super bike. It was the ugliest fucking bike I've ever seen. I love that you were like, uh, can we get a business loan? Can you imagine two of us going in? to a bank and going, hey, can you give us a loan for our podcast, Flat Stick? Yeah, yeah, we do this thing where we, like, <laughs> drink beers for an hour. <laughs> talk and, and, talk and, shit about yeah, our week, yeah. come up with plans that we never follow through with, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's great, it's great, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah so, yeah, Len, Brett, a bike, when would you need it around? When are you going to go? The exact date I need it, I need the bike on February 11th. February 11th. And I will return it on February 13. Okay. And February 12th is my birthday, so don't charge me. That's, <laughs> my, that's your gift to me. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, we got that. And then, oh, oh yeah, we've got those things. Uh, we've got the trailer. That, also, I think that's I just, it. Looking at your clip that you had online, fuck, man, that, that park looked insane, that mountain bike park. Sugar Bag Road. Insane. Never, never seen a better track. And we got to hit it. we got to hit it. It's crazy. I still love that you fucking bursted your back tire again, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, oh, that's so funny, Brett. I was like, I thought I could take it to somewhere to get fixed. Oh, did I you try and fix yourself in. this morning? Yeah, yeah. I put the tube in. So and you I bought a like, new tube? I bought a new tube. And I thought, compared to the motorbike tire, and I remember this taking not long. Yeah. But last time I had tire levers. This time I couldn't find my tire levers because supposedly you got them. Well, I've got one of them. I've got one of them. Ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 40 minutes later, I got it in, and I'm like, I should have just got this fucking... Because, <laughs> man, when you're putting a tube in, and every, everyone would see this, when you're putting the tube in, it just seems to take forever until you get a rhythm. Yeah. And before you get that rhythm, though, it's fucking brutal. Dude, I... And I reckon I've pinched it. I reckon I've pinched it. I reckon the tires. I reckon the tube's got a hole in it. Already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it's, from me sticking it in. Man, it's one of those things. It's a shit job to do. Unless you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere, I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'll just get some other cunt to do it. <laughs> and also, man, it fucking, I don't know about you, it ruins my brain when you have to put the chain back on. I can't quite, oh. you're like, it does my head in as sort of like, because I always have the bike flipped over. Yeah, anyway, yeah. It, all, it took me 15 minutes to figure out. It wasn't a funny story, but I went there anyway. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we got, we got that fix. It got squeaky in town. It's going to be wild. Brett, I saw the most. Oh, should we? Uh, I was. I wonder if we should get a photo up of it. Man, I saw my brother's got a giant rain too. Mm -hmm. Right? Looks uh, good. That's uh, his new bike. How much does that sit in bag? Uh, I think it was like 2,200. Fuck. Man, they're incredible. Is that brand new? No, no, no. Second hand. Second hand. Yeah, so nice, man. Yeah, Dude. I've been I've been uh, seeing a couple of suggestions. Giant Rain Two is my favourite so far. Do you reckon it's like, better than the Marin? Ah, like hands down, it's Julie. You yeah, can't yeah, compare. But it. The thing is, I still I'm obsessed with this bike. I don't know why, but I want I want the Dual Shock Marin. Oh yeah, yeah. I wonder what the Dual Shock Marin's like. I'd like to give it a test ride. Mm. But he's got the suspension set up different from uh, other 
sus- other bikes I've ridden because it's not that fun to ride on little stuff. Yeah. But once you get on a big, big thing, yeah, it's like a dream. Really? Like it doesn't. But man, the funniest thing is I put it in the video, right? It had that training thing at the park. Yeah. Right. Where I mean, had, I love when they do those little training setup things. They're yeah, fucking yeah. sick. So it had top, it had the bottom, the second, and then it had the top, mm. which is only 75 centimeters. Yeah. So like that high, right? And I was like, I can do this. Like, yeah. see, I did the first one, did the second one so easy. Did the, did the third one, and for some reason, I landed, and I was just like, holy fuck. <laughs> like, that's quite a drop, you know? <laughs> I, I was looking at the video, and it's classic when you watch something. And also, I'm a fucking pussy as well. Yeah. So when you, like, look at it, you're like, whatever. But then when you're there, you're like... <laughs> yeah, oh, man. <laughs> I knew I would have been shitting, you know what I mean? The wall ride, the scariest thing ever. Man, no, I don't, yeah, I've never done a wall ride, but it fucking, the, the look of that thing, I was like, that would freak me the fuck out. Yeah. And you really got to go fast and you got to commit, but if you don't, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that was wild. Um, oh, and we also do have another, um, a little announcement to make. Oh, yes, Brett. What are you doing, what are you doing February 18, Nick? February 18th. Yeah. Mm, fe- or is it the 17th? Fuck, I forgot the date. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the 17th. It might be the 17th. Guys, we finally have a date locked in. February 17th. The Wrong Way Around will be premiering at Bod Riggedy Bre- Brewing at 5 p.m. Is that the correct date? Yes, I think it is. It Fuck is. Fuck yeah, Sorry, dude. Yeah. I'm so excited. Now, if you donated on the Pausable campaign, you'll be getting an email with your ticket. If you haven't, we'll do like tickets for like 12 bucks or something like that. Um, basically, that goes in towards our next editing for our Tasmania trip. Uh, we're going to be putting up two episodes of The Wrong Way Around, Ep 1 and Ep 2, obviously. And then we're going to do a little Q&A after that. There'll be breaks. We'll have some beers. Um, man, it's going to be a sick night. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, it's going to be awesome. Bod Riggy, what a, what a great venue. And we're getting up upstairs. We've got our own room, Stingrays. Yes. Oh, fuck yes. I love Stingrays. Uh, we got, apparently, they've got a big projector. Um, and we're, yeah, we're, we're going to take the bikes there. Park them. You can come and check out the bikes. You can get photos. You can get photos on a DR650. Imagine that. And, a, and an XT600. Also. Abs- actual photos. I'm going to be so fucking maggot. Oh, I'm going to get blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might not, I might not bring my bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We'll, we'll just park it at my place afterwards. Oh, yeah. Or, I mean, or we'll, oh, yeah. We'll, no one's ever stolen a bike from your house walk, before. Walk it. Walk it. We'll, we'll walk it. Yeah, walk yeah. Walk it. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be the best. Man, so it's been such a long time. Thank you very much for being patient. Um, yeah, it's just taken us so much time, resources, and fucking cash. But we got there. It looks shit hot. We're Believe just at it the or polishing not, stage now. We shit on so many um, TV shows, like how crap they are. But fuck. Once the moment you start one, making one, you go, oh, fucking man. hell, this is actually hard work. This is really hard work. And ours isn't even like the first, like it's great. Yeah. But man, it's like... Fuck it Man, that's why there is when you see someone making a like a legit TV show or whatever the fuck, yeah. there's three hundred cunts working on it. As opposed to two fuckwits and a good editor. Like you know what I mean? It's like um everyone's bagging out that, that Joe Coy guy because he emceed the Golden Globes and he oh, bombs. Yeah. Oh right? really? But I'm looking at the footage and I'm like, Yeah, some of those jokes pretty ordinary. However, the comedian in me is like, fuck, that's a hard gig. Yeah. Fuck, that's Imagine, a hard man, look at the room you're performing yeah, yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you're got, like, who's that chick? Taylor Swift uh, being like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. the fuck would you know? Shut up. Yeah, know? yeah. It's you're not so a comedian. fucking I, hard. But also, <laughs> yeah. that paycheck would have been like fucking uh, 250 grand or some shit. Oh, and yeah, as we said, yes, we're, I was talking about it with a couple of mates yesterday. He's going to write some special about it and it's yeah. going to blow up. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Just slagging off everyone who was at like rolling yeah, their yeah, eyes just, or some uh, shit. just like some coming of age story of how fucked with his head or something like that. You know, it, 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 yeah, man, it was. Um, it's gonna be so sick. Like we've got two episodes Q and A. We're just gonna fuck around. Bring if you. If, I don't know if you want to leave your motorbike there or chain it up or whatever. Ride it. Fucking show us your bike. Yeah, bring your you bike know, down. You know, yeah, whatever. You know, it's it's gonna be sick. Man, I'm so excited to finally have it done. That's out. I've got my new comedy special coming out this month as well. So make sure you're on my YouTube channel. Give it a subscribe. Yes. Let us know about the trailer. Let us know if you live in Brisbane and I can borrow your bike. But until next time, keep it flat. Shh.
Dick. <laughs> so 17th. 17th of February. 17th of February. 17th of February, 5 o'clock. Fucking put in your calendar now. Put in your fucking calendar, you dorks. Put in your fucking calendar now. All right. Bye. <laughs>